Hi, my name is Tracy Presnell, and I'm with 3R Oticon Purigen Sales. Today, I would like to take a few minutes to speak with you about the freshwater system in your RV or boat, and how our product, 3R Purigen, can keep that system clean and free of harmful bacteria. While many of you may not drink the water from your freshwater system, it is nonetheless important to keep the system clean and free from harmful bacteria. Even if you only use the water for showers or washing hands and dishes, bacteria in the system can still make you sick. Purigen is simply the most effective product for both system disinfection and to provide residual protection to prevent bacterial growth in the stored water. First, a little history on Purigen. About 35 years ago, the airline industry was experiencing problems in the freshwater tanks and airplanes and also in the water transfer equipment used to transport water to fill those tanks. Despite using sanitation products commonly used to treat drinking water such as chlorine, bacteria was growing inside the water tanks, in the planes, and also in the transfer equipment. Biofilm was growing on the interior surfaces and slime was forming in the tanks. Biocide International, the manufacturer of 3R Purigene, developed a sanitizing procedure to use the power of activated chlorine dioxide, the active ingredient in Purigene, to rid the tanks of biofilm and slime and to provide continuous bacteria growth control with a low-level residual of unactivated Purigene added to the fill water. This same technology is still in use today and specified by nearly all airframe manufacturers as a maintenance requirement for the airplanes and transfer equipment. I don't want to alarm you, but the same thing can happen in the freshwater system in your RV or boat. Chlorine dioxide, the active ingredient in Purigene, is very different from chlorine. And while chlorine is commonly used to treat drinking water in the majority of potable water distribution systems in the U.S., it is not a good choice for the storage and delivery systems in RVs and boats. For chlorine, it is well established that during the disinfection process, byproducts are produced. More than 600 byproducts have been identified when chlorine is used for water disinfection. Those byproducts include trihalomethanes and haloacetic acids and are classified as possible human carcinogens by the World Health Organization. And even if you don't drink water that contains these potential harmful byproducts, you can still be exposed to them by inhalation and through dermal absorption while in the shower or by washing your hands. In contrast, Pure Gene's active ingredient, chlorine dioxide, produces no potentially hazardous or harmful byproducts. The only byproduct of disinfection with chlorine dioxide is ordinary table salt. Next, we need to look at the disinfection efficiency of Pure Gene when compared to chlorine. As I noted, the airline industry uses Pure Gene almost exclusively to maintain the freshwater systems in aircraft and transfer equipment. Pure Gene, with the active ingredient chlorine dioxide, when used to disinfect these systems, is effective in breaking down and removing biofilm, something that chlorine simply cannot do. This illustration shows how biofilm forms inside the water system. Free bacteria cells in the water attach to the interior surfaces of the system where they amass and grow. With no residual sanitizer protection to arrest growth, they mature and the process continues. The mature biofilm discharges additional bacteria cells back into the water and the process repeats. This illustration shows that other sanitizers, including chlorine, will only oxidize the outer surface of the biofilm. They cannot penetrate into or through the biofilm and leave much of the bacteria still alive to reproduce and discharge back into the water. This illustration shows how activated purigene penetrates the biofilm, breaking it down and killing the bacteria. It effectively destroys the bacteria clear down to the interior surfaces where it's attached. The system is kept clean by maintaining a small residual amount of unactivated purigene in the water to continuously prevent new bacteria growth. But stopping the addition of purigene each time new water is added to the system will lead to the reformation of biofilm. Another important issue is corrosion in the system. Purigene with chlorine dioxide is many times less corrosive than chlorine. Chlorine attempts to oxidize everything it comes in contact with. It is completely non-discriminatory and will chlorinate all of the system components, tanks, piping, valves, pumps, all of the components, regardless of whether they are plastic or metal or rubber, will be oxidized by chlorine. Chlorine dioxide, on the other hand, oxidizes only things that are of the correct pH. Since bacteria are acidic, 
Chlorine dioxide only reacts when it comes in contact with them. Once the chlorine dioxide molecule comes into contact with the acidic bacteria, it oxidizes and kills only the bacteria. This feature allows pure gene to stay active in the water for much longer than chlorine. It does not try to oxidize everything it comes in contact with, so it will remain available in the water to prevent bacteria growth for long periods. A major complaint of those using chlorine is the smell and taste it imparts on the water. After using chlorine to disinfect a system, the smell and taste of chlorine remains even after draining and rinsing the system, sometimes multiple times. There is no such issue with Puragene. Puragene will not impart a bad taste or odor to the water and does not require rinsing after disinfecting the system. Additionally, a 5 parts per million residual of Puragene in the water to protect from new bacteria growth is virtually undetectable by even the most sensitive. Unlike chlorine, which causes a foul smell and taste, even at a concentration as low as one part per million. Now that I've gone over the features of Puragene and how it compares to chlorine, let's talk a little about how to use Puragene. Puragene is used in an activated form to disinfect a system and in an unactivated form as a low-level residual to provide continuous bacteria growth control in the stored water. Puragene is activated by things that are acidic or low pH. To do system disinfection, we add acid directly to the puragene before putting it into the system. Generally, citric acid crystals are used for the activation. However, bottled lemon juice can also be used. The amount of puragene used for the system disinfection is one ounce per three gallons of tank capacity. This works out to one quart or 32 ounces of puragene for a 100 gallon system, or one pint or 16 ounces for a 50 gallon system. For each pint or 16 ounces of Puragene, you will need two ounces of citric acid or the same amount of bottled lemon juice to activate it. Don't worry if you can't remember these amounts. This information is on the product label, in the printed instructions, and available on our website. If you don't have a 100 or 50 gallon tank, don't worry. Just use the one ounce of Puragene per three gallons of water ratio, and it's easy to figure out how much you will need for any size tank. Before we put the Puragene into the tank, we need to add the citric acid to it to activate it and let it react for about five minutes. This causes all of the available chlorine dioxide to be released at once. This 50 parts per million solution is what attacks the microorganisms in the biofilm and loosens it at the attachment point. Once the Puragene and citric acid have been allowed to activate, the solution is put into the tank and the tank is filled with potable water. Once the tank is full, Draw some water from all the outlets to get the sanitizing solution into all parts of the system, including the hot water tank. Since the amount of piping is small, a pint drawn from each cold water outlet should be sufficient. The same amount can be drawn from all the hot water outlets after the hot water tank is full. Refill the tank to replace any drawn off water and allow the sanitizing solution to remain in the system for at least an hour. It can be left in longer, but it needs at least an hour to do its job. After the whole time, drain the system. Refill the system with potable water, or if you don't need a full tank, with any amount you desire. Add Puragene, this time unactivated, to the fill water at a rate of one ounce for each 30 gallon. Your system is now disinfected, and the water in the tank is protected with Puragene. We recommend that the system be disinfected at least once a year. If you store your RV or boat over the winter, the best time would be when you take it out of storage. Continue to use Puragene each time water is added to the tank at the rate of one ounce per 30 gallons to prevent bacteria growth and new formation of biofilm. Thank you for taking the time to hear about our product today. Please visit our website, email us, or call our toll-free number if you have any other questions or would like to place an order. www.3rodorcon.com, sales at 3rodorcon.com, or one 800 773 7116.